Steve Evans may have the answer. No matter where we travel, it's the same story. These fans just can't get enough in a trade championship drag racing. But very few people are able to get to more than a few of the national events, the ones closest to their homes. But if you're hungry for information on the entire series, even behind the scenes, well, meet Dave McClellan, the voice of NHRA on the PA and much of the television coverage. And there's a new feature NHRA is coming up with, a new twist to information. It sure is, Steve. This entire Winston series for 1989, you'll be able to get up-to-date information every day of an NHRA national event. How do you do it? You dial 1-900-468-NHRA. Well, if you don't have letters on your telephone, why don't you try this number? 1-900-468-6472. The report will be updated every day in the evening. You can dial in, get the fresh information, both on qualifying and the actual event results. It's, it's quite a new service, and I'm happy to be involved with it. And guys, i got to tell you, the Big Mac told me that as many as 3,000 calls could hit at once, and that message would start from the very beginning. It's all computer-based. An incredible new service and an incredible drag race at hand here. Yes, indeed. Lori Johns going against Gary Ormsby, and she's had great success with that deep staging technique. Let's see if she employs it now. And again, she has against Ormsby. But Ormsby leads right with her. Gary Ormsby. Finally, the clutches all lock up, and Ormsby surges ahead. 519, 276 miles per hour. And Johns with one of the final spots secure. And now the showdown for the other position in the finals. Dick LaHaye going against Joe Amato. We're taking a look at Amato in the far lane. Dick LaHaye had done his 513 in the far lane, but he got out of it as soon as he had lane choice. So it'd be interesting to see if Amato's performance will fall off in the far lane. Everybody trying to get comfortable here, holding that handbrake, just letting the car squeeze into the beams. It is Amato away first. LaHaye could be in trouble here. LaHaye from behind. For the fourth straight year, Dick LaHaye is going to the final. Semi-final time. One thing we know for sure, no matter what happens in this race or the one to follow, today a General Motors product will win because Bob Glidden is out with a rare red light. This first half of the semis pits a pair of Firebirds, Trans Ams, whatever you want to call them. Ricky Smith in the far lane, the beautiful blue car from North Carolina, and in the near lane from New Jersey, the yellow machine of Frank Iaconio. You mentioned that Glidden is on the sidelines. Iaconio is the man who put him there, but actually Glidden was a victim of a red light on a foul. Iaconio from the near side, down the strip and side by side. This is still up for grabs. Iaconio with the advantage and he barely gets it. Frank Iaconio will advance to the finals for the runner-up in the Gator Nationals at Gainesville. He hopes to get a victory here at Santa Air today. And I wonder how many drivers are going to buy that story about the clutch. Bob Glidden's not going to buy it, Steve. <laughs> Our next semifinal ferry, Pro Stock, Bruce Allen against Kenny Koretsky. Both drive Chevy Berettas. Both burnouts are complete. Allen has the lane choice. He's working from the near side. And there was a time when Bruce Allen would look over to Kenny Koretsky and say, oh boy, well, I'm going to the finals. Well, he can't do that anymore. Koretsky is cutting incredible light and has newfound horsepower since his team up with Frank Iaconio. Koretsky out first. Here, oh, Kretzky sideways. That allows Bruce Allen to come by, much to the relief. These engines are performing. Well, LaHaye always told me he tuned by the bearings, how that Babbitt looks on. All right, here we go in his funny car semifinal round. Gary Gerald. You've got Don Prudhomme, the man who's been the master of this race trip over the years. Seven times a winner at San Air, going against the current king of funny cars, Kenny Bernstein. And Bernstein is hot today. The number one qualifier. He blew a motor up. Everybody thought, well, that'll back him into a corner. The team came right back with another 540 lap time. Bernstein is in the near lane. Prudhomme in the far lane. Bernstein reacts first. Prudhomme fades. It is Kenny Bernstein for the final round at 5.48 seconds, 264. Kenny Bernstein is now, we look at Art Hindi, getting set to go on the other funny car semifinal against Mark Oswald. Art Hindi, Don Garlitz, has earned everybody's respect, even the man in that Ford Pro of Mark Oswald. You can't take that guy for granted. He may be relatively new, but boy, is he good. He lays down a good run every now and then, and on a very limited budget, I might add. And before Oswald and Hendy make their semifinal pass, let's check now as he advances to the finals. And now we get set for this matchup between Hendy and Oswald. 
It'll be interesting to see if Hendy makes a good run. He made a very poor burnout. Didn't get the tires loose. He's got virtually no heat in those tires. But there's plenty of heat in this racetrack. In fact, that has been part of the problem. So, as Don said, we'll just have to wait and see as Mark Oswald meets Art Hendy, California and Louisiana. They leave right together. Hendy may be fighting that far lane. The car moves around enough where he gets out of it. It is Oswald at 560, 238.